Hello, in this programming video, we are going to look at lambda functions within Kotlin. So if you don't already know what regular functions are, I recommend checking out, you know, the videos that I've created on that. Once you're done with that, we'll look at lambda. So now let me just, you know, briefly explain what lambda is. So lambda is, you know, it's a function that essentially has no name. It's defined with, you know, some curly braces, and it actually takes a variable as a parameter and the body of the function. Sounds a, a bit confusing, so let me just demonstrate it. So to create a lambda function, so I'm gonna create one that you know multiplies numbers. So multi, I'm gonna call it multiply, multiply, and it's gonna have some parameters. So let's say num one colon int, num two colon int, and now I'm at the end. What we need to do, I'm gonna call it lambda. So lambda, and then what you do is colon. And this is the actual sort of lambda expression that you're passing in. And I say int. And I'm going to call this unit. No, so actually, no, it is unit, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm calling it a unit. Okay. In here, to add the values together, so we could do val result equals num1 plus num2. Nothing new here. And to actually, you know, do something with it. So we are going to do this here, lambda. So we'll say lambda. Then pass in the result. And now we need to call it. To call it, it's a pretty interesting way you do it. So you create a variable. You don't directly call it. You create a variable first. So we call it val. We don't want it to change. Then, so if I call this lambda colon and I'm gonna you know this has to this is gonna be an int because that's what you know the you know the data type is then the Kotlin unit equals now you put curly braces and we are going to put int again And we are going to print it out. So this is the the actual function part of the functionality is literally going here. So s is just in you know, the result. Uh, I'll put a semicolon. But essentially, like the functionality of you know the result is going here. And now, if we run it to run it, you do multiply. You do more multiply and you know passing some variables so it's four five and the, the last variable is literally the lambda you created so if i run this and you'll see our result should be 20. so as you can see ah i think time i added this together okay my bad now if i run it Okay, there we go. We've got 20 using Lambda expressions within Kotlin. Quite a bit going on here. Can be a bit confusing. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. I'll also provide some really cool resources to learn more about Lambda expressions with the video. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.